Hi, this is Peter from PowerDirectorTutorials.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add music to your videos with Cyberlamp PowerDirector, of course. Now, there are a few options in how you, you can present your music. And here's a video that I've cooked up earlier. You'll notice that the volume slowly increases and then it stays uh, constant right up until the end where it slowly fades away. So let's just have a quick look at this. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Let's open up PowerDirector, get our video set up on the timeline. And now let's import our music file. Now I've got a MP3 here that I've downloaded from the internet. Let's get that in. So you can import it in the same way that you do with video files. So we can add it to the timeline here. There's a voice track that you can add it to or a music track. So since this is, this is music, let's add it to the music track. Now if we press play, you'll notice that this clip has a slow start. What if we want to start somewhere, maybe in, in the middle of the, vi uh, of the audio track? So what we can do is just click the audio, we click trim, and here we can set the start and ending point of the video. Let me just uh, zoom in, zoom out a bit. So we can select the starting point. I want to start at about the four minute mark. We click mark in and then we can choose our ending point. So let's just, we well, don't have to choose an end point. So I'll just click OK. There's our audio, what we have to do is just keep zooming out. We want to move that right back to the beginning again and resize it so it's the same size as your video. If we press play, it should start somewhere in the middle now. Okay, so that's good. Now we can increase the overall volume. If it's too loud or too soft, we can adjust that by going to the audio mixing room and just increasing the music gain of the music track. So if you move that slider about, you'll notice in the timeline that the volume line is going up and down, which represents the overall volume. So I'll just leave it back in the middle again. Now, we've got uh, control over specific points in the video as well. So say we want to start off with no music, we can click on the beginning point here in the video and drag it down right to the beginning, sorry, right to the bottom. And then we can add another point uh, somewhere in the video and move that up so um, the music should slowly fade in and we can do that at the end as well slowly fade the music out so just click somewhere in the uh, our timeline to add a point we cannot remove these points however and then we just uh, move the bottom point right down to the bottom so that should slowly fade the music out Let's just Listen to that. So as you can see there, the music slowly fades out. Now if you make a mistake with these points, you, we can't uh, remove individual points, but we can right click and restore original volume level and that will put everything right back to the beginning. We can, we can do the same thing with this slider here. 
and the audio mixing room. So go to where you want in the video and you can use this slider here, music volume to automatically add a point and move the uh, volume up and down. So we can move again here, add, move this up to add another point. Then we can just uh, manipulate those points. So that's it, that's how we can add music, music to our videos and control uh, specific uh, points in the uh, music track. Quite simple.